Morning. How much is this? 149, sir. I've got 50p. Fuck you, bastard. For today's sponsor, we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16. And using my SKEG discount code, will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I shouldn't play. <coughs> 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 Hello guys, I shouldn't Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is the video of the Adrenaline 21.8.2 drivers. And so I always say in my videos, 21 is the year 2021, 8 is the month August, and 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of August. So remember that 21.8.2 are actually optional drivers and not recommended drivers. The recommended drivers are still the 21.6.1, and this one is optional, okay? So if you have problems, do not complain, just go to the recommended ones, okay? Now, as for the release notes, support for MIST, up to 6% increase in performance in MIST 4K medium settings with ray tracing enabled, using um, using Radeon software Adrenaline 21.8.2 Adrenaline on the 16 gigabytes RX 6800 XT graphics versus the previous software edition 21.8.1. So basically, 6% increase, which is not that much uh, in MIST, at 4K medium settings, so if you're playing, let's say, at 80 FPS or 60, 60 FPS, yes, the 4K performance difference will be not noticeable at all. We also have support for Aliens, Fire, Team Elite, and Little Nightmares 2 Enhanced Edition. As for the fixed issues we have, users may experience difficulties ending a recording session on open broadcaster software when recording in H.265 AGVC codec on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 6800 XE. So, as I said in the previous videos before where this problem was actually happening, I said that at least in my 6800 and all the other cards I have, there was no problem using open software, uh, open broadcasting software, which is OBS. No problem at all. Uh, but for people that were actually having those problems, or at least this problem, uh, this particular problem, it seems to be fixed, so it is a pretty good thing for people using the OBS. I personally use the Streamlabs OBS and it works wonders, okay? Now, while playing F1 2021 in split-screen mode, image corruption may be observed on one of the player's screens, okay? So this is fixed, good thing for split-screen mode. Radeon software application may become unresponsive when some users attempt to launch the application. This is a bug that happens more than it actually should. To me, it doesn't, but I have lots, lots of viewers saying that these, th this happens in some driver versions, like they try to open the, the software and it becomes unresponsive, they have to close it once again, open again, and so on, so on. It's really annoying, it's not a game breaker or a deal breaker, but it's annoying as hell, and it seems to be fixed. Tell me in the comment sections if the problem is fixed or not, because I really want to know. Now, while playing Control using DirectX 12, users may observe corrupt light rays on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6600 XT. And well, the last fixed issue is upgrading to the latest uh, Radeon graphics driver may cause the auto update feature on Ryzen Master to stop working. So basically, if you if you have Ryzen Master and you actually have the latest Radeon graphic drivers, now it functions pro it functions <laughs> Now it, it functions properly uh, and the auto update on Ryzen Master won't stop working, okay? As for the known issues, we have lots of them. Open broadcaster software may continue to run in the background after a user ends a recording session and, close the, and closes the application. For people that use the software a lot, well, this may be annoying. Visual artifacts in Payday 2 may be observed during gameplay on some AMD graphics such as Radeon RX 6800 XT. AMD is investigating a black screen issue that may be experienced while playing Myst or King's Hunt on some Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics product. A temporary workaround is to disable performance metrics overlay 
or Radeon image sharpening in Radeon software. So maybe that's why I don't have artifacts because I don't actually use the, um, I don't actually use the, the performance metrics, never, I always disable them, I use MSI Afterburner for that, and I rarely, very rarely use the Radeon Image Sharpening, okay? If the game has inbuilt sharpening, I will use it. If not, I will really, really rarely use the, 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 um, the, 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 I will rarely use the inbuilt image sharpening in the software, okay? And yeah, basically we have some, some non-issues. Sadly, we still have the Horizon Zero Dawn issue. Sadly, we still have the Enhanced Sync Make Cause a black screen issue. This is going for over a year for some users. Um, but one thing that I can tell you right away is that um, in my experience, I had no blue screens, I had no black screens. Let me just turn this off. Yes, I had no black screens, no blue screens, no no green screen, no <laughs> no green screens. Everything was working fine. Uh, but I noticed that with the 21.8.2 drivers, comparing to the 21.8.1, Intel Rex, the 21.8.1, that uh, at least playing PUBG and some other games that were um, kind of heavy, kind of heavy at 1440p. Uh, the 21.8.2 drivers actually delivered lower temperatures than the 21.8.1 and I did the tests in the same exact um, time frame, like it was like a 30 minutes time frame at max. So we're talking about, let's say, 5 degrees in some scenarios, uh, up to 5 degrees difference while playing those games. So uh, from 80, 81 to, let's say, 75, 76 degrees, a max of 77. So it is, it is a really consistent and a really good difference. Not in all games, but those games that were pushing like 220 watts, 230 watts, which is the max that my RX 6800 tuned will push, or will pull in this case, um, in those scenarios, the temperature decrease was quite considerable. Okay, so uh, I had the first problem with the 21.7.2 drivers in the RX 580. Well, English is not my main language, but let's say that the audio had, um, had issues, the sound wasn't clear, um, it had like noise, but with the 21.8.2 it is fixed again, and also the recommended drivers at 21.6.1 also work fine for me for the HDMI audio. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me let me know and let us all know as a community uh, if you have problems with these driver versions or not because that's why I make these videos for us to connect with each other to know if you have problems, if you don't have, uh, how to solve them and so on, so on, so on. That's why I make these videos. So thanks a lot for watching. Once again, hit like, subscribe and see you in the next video. Cheers.